Hey, what is up and welcome to this arena results video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I'm going to cover the round one results for the Civil Warrior and the Winter Soldier arenas. And then I'm going to jump right into my round two predictions. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the results for round one. So if we take a look at round one, you can see um, the total for the four star Civil Warrior feature arena was 6.8. 8 million so 6,880,000 um, for the basic arena for the winter soldier basic arena the top 10% to get winter soldier came in at a low 1,820,000 with the 11,000 or sorry the 11% tier right around 1.35 million and then for the three star feature there is the uh, the results came in at 661,000 and for the top 10% and then for the 11 to 25% it was right at 426,000 so when we take a look so the just a real quick thought on these results the 6.8 million is a surprise um, that's kind of a high end for that is a high end that's not kind of that is a high end number for an old champ when we look at um, the the previous four star arenas where we had old champ featured um, they would normally this would normally be a second round kind of result with the first round results in the five million what we've seen here now with the punisher then going to to civil warrior these numbers just continue to sit around the six million i was thinking with the punisher that might have been a kind of a one-time thing just because the punisher is is harder to get before the arena I mean, you really could only get him through arena crystals before then so i i was thinking with civil warrior we would drop back down but um that's not the case as you can see here we got 6.8 million so that might be kind of the new norm now when we have an old champ uh, featured in the four star arena and then with civil warrior uh, with my predictions um I, uh, this was a little bit of a surprise i was thinking he'd be somewhere between a low and a mid-tier interest um, champ and instead he was he was pretty much flatlined performed like a low tier interest champ so um, that was definitely a little bit of surprise here with a three-star arena though not a big shocker that was kind of as expected so with all that being said how are my predictions for round one so with the um, four-star uh, feature arena I like I was saying I thought he would perform like a typical old champ so and I was in the uh, six million is, is definitely lower than the 6.8 actual so not good to say the least now when you look at the rest though i kind of was right on on the uh the spot there now it did come in a little bit higher than the 1.8 million for the four star basic but uh, wasn't that off so if if you did grind to this level you definitely did get civil warrior in the same case i couldn't have gotten any closer <laughs> with my predictions just four thousand or sorry um yeah four thousand off um from the six hundred sixty one thousand. so that was definitely a uh, a good prediction so um so what do we think about going into round two so you can see with the old champs no matter if it's the recent trend with it been a, that have been higher numbers or even the old trend round two is always higher and um it's anywhere from like six to seven percent higher to all the way to 23 to 25 percent um, so when I start looking at um, what my prediction for round two will be, it'll be incorporating on that higher end of a 25-ish um, percent increase from round one results. And when you look at the basic, um, kind of the similar thing here. Really, there's always that second round is always higher for a, a low interest champ four star basic arena. Um, that's in all instances except Venompool, but Venompool had a really high level one around one So I think that's why you saw the big decrease for him I'm expecting to see kind of an opposite with winter soldier and to see those numbers really jump back up for round two And then for the three-star old uh, champs arena You can see here and we're starting to see here that over the last couple three-star arenas with star lord and the punisher with the old champs again um, a bump in the second round not a significant bump but just around 30,000 so like they typically around 653 right right above the last milestone rewards to now an extra almost 40,000 more uh, when you get to that 685 we see something similar with the Punisher from 641 to 678 so you'll see my round two prediction will kind of account for that kind of bump we may see um, for the Civil Warrior so let's go ahead and jump straight into the predictions. So for um, round two, I'm seeing it coming at 8.6 million now for um, for 
Silver Warrior. I know he came in at 6.8 million this time around, but you've seen for all the old four star um, or feature arenas that feature old champs, they, there's always that second round bump and uh, anywhere from 7 to 25 percent. And if you apply that 25 percent over to the round one results, that's going to get us a little bit under this 8.5. So I always like to go a little bit higher. So that's why I put my prediction at 8.6 million. And um, when you look at the basic arena, I see 2.2 million given that bump again. And then uh, lastly, there you, you can see a consistent theme here. You can see another bump for the three star feature um, coming in and, um, at 685. And then with the, um, so yeah, these are the predictions. To be clear, these are the predictions for the 11 to 25 percent. Um, in the four star basic, you're going to be the, the that'll be around around 1.6 million. And for the 11% tier in the three star, that's right at 475. So, what if you're grinding? So, here's my recommendation for grind targets 6.9 million for the four star feature, 2.4 million for the four star basic. If you want to go for um, the civil warrior, if you want to go for that 11 to 25%, you should go target around 1.75 to 1.8 million. And uh, for the three-star feature, if you wanted to go after Civil Warrior, you should go for 695,000. And if you instead, if you'd rather go to that 11 to 25 percent tier, um, then you should shoot for right around 510,000. So that's my thoughts coming from the round one results going into the round two predictions. Um, if you have any questions or your own thoughts or comments to build on this, would love to hear about it in the comment section. If you uh, like this video, we'd really appreciate a like. And if you like this and other videos that I'm uh, making, would really appreciate a subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.